Greetings from Stony Brook University. My name is Sabrina Lightsberry, and here's what I learned from Professor Rubasol's general relativity class at Stony Brook. So, uh, first of all, we mostly reviewed the problem of the geodesic around the sphere from last time, uh, where we discovered that we can prove it pretty, pretty easily with the equator for with the geodesic equation. And then we can just change our reference frame. Uh, so this is, say, theta equals 90 degrees. And then we can change our reference frame so that theta and phi are... Theta is constant for any ring that goes contains a diameter, just like so. So essentially, any rotational transform that we can do on this is going to uh, be another geodesic. So that's verified. So, other than that, we also covered the Riemann tensor, or at least attempted to cover it before time ran out. So essentially, the Riemann tensor, I didn't catch everything, but essentially, uh, in flat space, we talked about the concept of parallel transport two lectures ago. So in flat space time, if you take the tangent vector around the curve, then it will return to its original shape once it starts from its initial point again. But on curved space time, that is not the case. So if we draw some curve on it, and then takes the tangent vector here, here, and it loops through and through, then there will actually be a slight difference once we get back to the point that we started from. The Riemann tensor simply quantifies that difference. So that's essentially what the Riemann tensor is built for.